Sir. Yes. How does one become Hollywood's billion dollar man? <laughs> A lot of hard work. Y'all need to know who I am. That's the introduction, okay? We'll figure it out. It's a problem with your generation. First of all, I don't take credit for the talent, right? What I take credit for is having the right platform and the right project for certain very talented people to be uplifted and introduced to the world in a different way than they had before. That I'll take credit for. Whoever it is that I've had some responsibility or some effect on their career, they had it already, they just needed that right platform to take it to the next level. So if anything, I've got an eye for matching up people with a particular skill set, with a particular project, with a particular time, because timing is everything. You know, I grew up in the South. We knew the story of how all these black kids were getting uh, murdered in Atlanta. 23 kids, six young adults, so 29 total, and there was actually a kid who was never found, so 30, were all the results of what we call the Atlanta child murders now. And so you had all these kids and their parents and families who never ever got to see justice. They never got to see anybody held accountable and put on trial for the murder of their children. These were poor kids who were disappearing and it took too long for us as a society to care. We've seen just about every way that you can put a white guy uh, in front of the camera and we've seen him do everything a white guy can do in front of the camera. You certainly can't say that about black women. From a artistic standpoint, those are the stories that are most interesting because they're the ones that Hollywood has ignored for so long. At the end of the day, this is a business. That is an audience that is one of the most persuasive, one of the most loyal, one of the most uh, engaged audiences out there. The combination of all that is why you have Will Packer projects that center around my sisters. Absolutely. Why? How could I not? Black women have been objectified for so long in, in cinema and in media. It doesn't justify objectifying other people, but, but what I'll say is that um, it's about time somebody else got objectified. Let me put it like that. I think a lot of people can relate to the idea that, you know, you have this purity and this clarity of vision and who you are, who you want to be, your aspirations and your dreams when you're younger. Sometimes the naivete can be good because you don't know what you don't know and you don't know what you're not supposed to be able to do. Then the real world comes in. They say, you can't do that. Stop being silly. That's unrealistic. Those are childhood dreams. Some people, it beats them down. Don't let the pressures of the world affect who you really are inside. I think some of us need to hear that and learn that lesson. I like the idea of putting something on a big screen, like the movie Little, and allowing people to leave their houses, put down their devices, and just enjoy. And the images have an opportunity to have power that they don't have in some of the other mediums. I'm proud of different projects for different reasons. Stomp the Yard is one of the projects I'm most proud of because it was my first like Hollywood hit. It kind of announced to this industry that I, I knew what I was doing a little bit. The answer is as simple as it is cliche. It takes a massive amount of work. That's what it is. And that's not what people really want to hear. They want to hear, listen, here's what you do. Follow me on Twitter, slide in these DMs, I got you. That's not how it works. You got to work until you think, I can't work anymore. I've done everything I can. Unearthed every stone, flipped over every rock, climbed in every window, knocked on every door. I've done everything I can possibly do and then realize you're just getting started. That's how you attain real, true success in this business. Will Packer's here. That's who I am, Will Packer. <laughs> All right, we'll pack it. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs>